The last time I had a girlfriend was like two years ago. Me too, actually. Two years. Yeah. It's weird. What's weird? Not having a girlfriend for so long. That's not weird at all. You have spent most of your life and most of your post puberty life without one. Being single is the default state, therefore not weird. Yeah, well, I think it's just odd. Because I'm sure I could get a girlfriend anytime I want. It's just that no girl really interests me. Yeah, sure you could. I think I could. Girls like me trust me. And I've always gotten along with girls better than with males. It's just that... Perhaps you're gay? No, I'm sure I'm not gay. Actually, I do know a girl that still interests me. My ex. She, she still interests you? How? Do you talk occasionally? Or is she just interesting to you in a fantasizing way? No, I just lurk her blog. Web stalk her? What do you mean, web stalk? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's when, when you, it's when you stalk someone on Vine. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right. So, what kind of blog is that? What things does she post? Cooking recipes, nudes? No, it's a Tumblr. She posts some poetry. She writes poems. Interesting. And what about those poems of yours that you mentioned? You, you should read some to me. I don't know, man. Feels weird reading my poetry to some guy I just met online. What do you mean just? It's like the second time we're talking. By web standards, we're beyond acquaintanceship by now, and are well into friendship. I mean, you, you haven't deleted me yet. Yeah, but it's still awkward for me. I don't really know you. Come on, you know me. We, we've talked about me. I right? think I want to separate my offline and online life as much as possible. That's ridiculous and absurd. You seek conversations with strangers online in the first place, and then detach yourself superficially. I think it's stupid and insincere. I'm not insincere. Then read some poetry. Come on, I'm, I'm very open-minded. I'm curious. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay, so this poem, I haven't actually read it to anyone offline or online. Is it recent? Not really. It's just too hardcore for real life. Uh, are you going to expose your genitals to me now? What? You, you're being so slow and mysterious. <laughs> and then you said it was too hardcore. Perhaps you are gay? No. So, the poem. It's titled Beautiful vs. Ugly. I knew a beautiful girl once. She was beautiful. Now she is ugly. Everything beautiful gradually and inexorably becomes ugly. I want to accept ugliness, but I can't. Everything is ugly around me. When everything around you stinks, you begin to stink as well. How do I explain to my mother that I don't want this job because it's ugly? Sex with a beautiful person can be beautiful, but I don't know any beautiful persons offline. I am always beautiful online. I am always beautiful when I wear white, a white t-shirt, 
or when I am naked under the white sheets of my bed. Cold air is beautiful. The color white is beautiful. Cool people are beautiful. Some poetry can be beautiful, but it's mostly ugly. Beautiful versus ugly. Wow. Very interesting. You're right. You're definitely sincere. Yeah. I gotta go now. Sorry. Can you hear it? This is crazy. The neighbors have played this song like 20 times in a row already. It's so annoying. It's Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Do you know this song? I think it was popular like a decade ago. You are beautiful in every single way. So stupid. They play it over and over again. The most annoying part is that I can barely hear it. It's so faint. Like, if they stopped playing it, I would still think they are still playing it. Makes me nervous. Yeah. Can you hear it? It's there. But very, very faint, like my life beautiful, except the song is not beautiful. Yeah, this is where I live. Just going for a walk. The stars. Stars are twinkling tonight. This is it. This is my favorite alley. I think it was an instant favorite. I have this third person memory of it. Like I was walking down the alley with Joan one night and this guy, an acquaintance, saw us from the street. He didn't come up to us and I didn't see him. Later he told me I looked happy. really stuck with me. Every time I think about this place, I visualize myself walking along the alley with her with a happy expression on my face in third person. The memory is very cinematic and very sentimental. Yeah.
can you hear me now? Yeah, and you? Yeah, I can hear you fine. So where were we? Like I was saying, I had this dream where I visited you in New York, and the city was so bright and shiny, and I wanted to stay. But I woke up, and it's still this fucking place. And I'm still here, you know? I had never had this ambition to move out or to leave for another place or something like that, you know? Like wanting to move forward, but you can't. I lived through all this in the dream, and all the emotions have stayed with me. What do you think? I think you're trying too hard. I don't know. Talking via Skype is distracting. I think that if I fantasize about something too much, it will never actually happen. You must be fantasizing about having a boyfriend a lot, in this case. Ha ha ha. I do fantasize about boys a lot, though. When I see a cute guy, I can't look away. They're usually the loners, you know? Silent, lonely guys. That's who I'm attracted to. I concur. Loneliness can be attractive, like a black hole. I imagine them being actually interesting, and when I talk to them... They always turn out predictable and banal. Kevin wasn't so banal, was he? Why do you always have to bring him up? You always seem so carried away when talking to him. You two are like two little birds chatting away about your stuff. I was obsessed with him back in the day, in the distant past, but the obsession faded pretty quickly. I'm not attracted to him at all today. To kiss him today would be like filling my mouth with salt cod. That's harsh. It's how I feel. He's so self-conscious and ingenuine and fake, it makes him ugly. Unlike you, I'm actually concerned about things. Or persons being ugly or beautiful. Sure. You know what? I want to record you reading your poem. What for? It's a memento. Anyway, I don't want to read it again. Now it's for the camera. It's for the archive. What archive? I don't know. The family archive. It's for our children and our children's children and their children. Without history, there's no future. Please stop embarrassing me. Come on, I'm your sister. It's okay. I love your reading. <sighs> okay. The title is The Same Sweater. I've worn the same sweater every day for the past three years. I have no real ambition but to eat without sharing and sleep as much as I want to. Don't call me stupid. Don't call me square. Don't call me a future old maid because I don't care. I work very hard to keep my dignity and grace and to save my face. You walked me to my door and took a picture. I never saw that picture. Find it and send it to me. Am I wearing the same sweater in the picture? I must be. Has my face changed much since then? It may have. Why do I have to change for all you people? The street is loud. All the noise, it's so grotesque. How am I supposed to create beautiful things with all that noise, all the deviousness out there? The noise annoys me. People, humans, persons annoy me when loud. It takes so much effort to get to know a person. And often, they turn out a lot less than awesome. How do I win? How do I prevail in this game? Maybe I just want to be left alone. I think I'm better off alone. Next week, I'm turning 20. I will stop being a teenager. I think I will die a little more when I turn 20. Everything that is alive is also dying. What three wishes do I want to come true? I want to lead a generally peaceful existence. I want to keep my virtue.
I want to wear my old stinking sweater all day long, every day. It's perfect. It's peaceful. <laughs> it's so good. I mean it. You should ask someone to come up with some funky beats and turn it into a rap song or something. Bad idea, actually. Oh, whoops. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air, the sun, the wind. The internet is all around me. The poetry is in the air. The poetry is in the air. I think I must be coming off as creepy to strangers in general. Persons look at me weird on the streets. Why? I don't know. I just feel it. People are freaked out by me. By my appearance. You shouldn't worry about it. People in general freak out about anything, especially nowadays. If random people are freaked out by your appearance, it is because you are different and you should embrace that. I guess. What do you think? About what? About my videos, my poems, about me. Well, I think that you are weird. Uh, any new poems? Yeah, there's this one I've been meaning to read to you. Proceed. Hold on a second. Okay. It's called Stranger on the Internet. I'll start. A stranger on the internet. Hello, stranger. You're faceless and silent. You're creepy and sad. You have no life. All you do is being on the internet all day long. You have a blog and a Twitter. You leave comments on the internet. You use a photograph of some other person as your user picture. In real life, you are a regular person of flesh and blood. I am terrified by the fact of your existence in real life. If I ever see you in the street, I'll feel compelled to cross the street. You are a musician and a photographer on the internet. You post fan art on the internet. You are a poet on the internet. Your poetry is exceptional. Your poetry is beautiful. Your beauty 
is overflowing the online world. I can feel the poetry in the air, the sun, the wind. The world wide web is all around me. The poetry is in the air. Your poetry is in the air. Lol. I love this one. I think it is the best one I've heard from you so far. <laughs> Thanks. Want to hear something funny? I have an ex that writes poetry as well. Yes, I remember. She posted this new poem maybe a day after I posted mine. And there's a line in hers that sounds too much like mine. Like, in my poem, it's the world wide web is all around me, the poetry is in the air. And in hers, it's something like the poetry is in the light waves, the world wide web is rainbows. Interesting. An interesting synchronicity, right? Well, perhaps uh, she just ripped you off. Yeah, I thought about it. That would mean she follows my Tumblr, you know? Maybe she does like me after all. Maybe, or perhaps it's just a coincidence. You can be certain. I doubt it. I don't believe in coincidences. What does that even mean? Coincidences don't just happen. They are caused. Right. I, I think I will have I have to go to bed now. Bye. G goodbye. Have a nice day. Great poem. Thanks again. Bye.